Brothers, for those of you who are watching these Sowing the Faith videos, if you want to be notified every time I post something new, you can subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, give a thumbs up and like the video, because you certainly will be greatly blessed. May the Lord God bless you. This is a story everybody knows about. The Lord Jesus was in the temple. He was teaching. Then the Pharisees went there, bringing a woman who was caught in adultery, threw her in there and said, Master, the law orders that this woman should be stoned. Jesus started writing in the sand and they complained, asking if he was going to do anything. Jesus then said, okay, he who has no sin be the first to cast a stone. In first, number eight of John eight, it is written the following. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Jesus stopped what he was doing. We don't know what exactly he was writing. He knows and understands everything. He created the sand and all things. He was probably writing about how foolish those men were to want to stone a woman who had committed adultery, but they left the man go free. So they had only the woman, but they all left afterwards. Folks, when you say something that doesn't make sense, Jesus will not pay attention to that or you will be very seriously rebuked. If he is not answering, then you have to ask him why. Take a look at a person who was blessed and I'll be right back. God worked a great miracle in my life and healed my spine now. What was wrong with I your spine? I had a lot of pain and I couldn't even bend down. How long were you unable Over to bend down? Years. So bend down now, sister. I felt nothing. I've been healed in the name of Jesus. This is beautiful. You may go, sister. God still has many wonderful things for you or your life. So let's pray now. I want to pray for your healing. Oh, Lord, the year is starting to come to a close. I unite my faith with the faith of these people. I rebuke all the evil from these lives now. I expel it now and say, evil, get out of this man's life. Get out of this woman's life and don't ever come back. In the name of Jesus Christ. And you can raise your hands up and say, thank you, Jesus. 